Hi, so this is part two of rendering and modeling uh, a realistic scene using Semaphore Gen's P3. Uh, this part is dedicated to rendering. So I have here two scenes, uh, two different scenes. Uh, this is scene number one. And then in the next tutorial, we will we'll show you how to create the scene number two. So this is more of a breakdown than an actual tutorial. Uh, so, in this scene here, I used the surface spread to spread my trees in the scene. So, I have my tree here as a child to the surface spread. So, surface spread is just a plugin to spread the trees uh, in the scene. Uh, so, if you don't have the surface spread, you can use just MoGraph tool, you can use the cloner uh, in conjunction with the random effector just to randomize the scale and the rotation of your trees. Otherwise, I will just show you the settings inside the surface spread. So I have here my, I have here two different kinds of trees. I have a conifer tree and I have a normal tree. So in the surface spread here, in the object here, I just, uh, let me disable the camera. So I have here some, I have here my ground. It just looks ugly, but it, we can't see it in the camera. So I didn't make, I didn't pay a lot of attention to it. So. Here, my ground. I just I just use the ground uh, to just uh, reflect that greenish light uh, through the trees. So I use the ground here, simple ground with with um, with a green material. So as you can see here, so I have the. This, in this material, I have just a diffuse layer with a gradient. I just put in the gradient greenish, a greenish color like that. And I just played around with the turbulence just to have this uh, run irregularities in the gradient like that. So let's go back to the surface spread now. So I have my ground in the object tab here and I have here my my trees count in here so nothing fancy just some basic settings in the effects here I just added some some randomness to the trees I changed the randomness of the rotation as you can see here and I play around with the randomness of the scale also so I don't have these regular trees so that's really all for the surface spread it's not something fancy um, so for the camera, let me go to my camera. For the camera, I just used camera here with five, uh, with the film ISO three, with, uh, 300 and if stop with six, shutter speed 200. It really depends in how much light you have in your scene, the intensity of light. Yeah, it really depends. It's not, uh, it, they're not settings for all the scenes you have just for this particular scene i found these settings uh, these settings works just fine in this scene so for the light also i have a dome light as usual with a texture with a with an issue i just change the area type here to doom and i i raise the subdivision to 24 I enabled spherical doom and use textures and I loaded my Azure Eye in here. Let me just go here. 
this is my share i i lowered the exposure because the intensity of share of the, of the hgri sorry it's really really intense so i lowered the exposure and i changed the color profile to as rgb i talked about these settings in in a tutorial i did called uh, how to get star shadows from an hgri i think you can find it in the description or I can just put it here in the video if you want to take a look. Um, I lowered the gamma also to get more sharp, sharper shadows to 0 .9, uh, 0.7. Um, yeah, that's it for the lighting. I just, I just hired the intensity to 10. So the materials are are the more important uh, things when it comes to uh, rendering trees because the materials of the trees uh, of the leaves of the leaves are really really complex. So for the leaves, I have two materials, two different materials. With, a, with similar settings, of course, and a very double-sided material for every leaf. So in the front leaf, I have here the front, I have here the front material, the front leaf, and I have the back leaf. So the front leaf is brighter than the back leaf. The, the front side of the leaf is brighter than the back side of the leaf. So I have here, uh, I, have here I have here my leaf texture, I put I add I add a filter to it and and I hired the gamma in that one and in the specular layer in the front leaf uh, the glossiness is is higher than the back leaf as you can see here I have here 0.8 in the reflection glossiness of the front leaf and 0.7 in the reflection glossiness of the back leaf. So you should pay attention to these settings. And the, fer the fernal IOR, the index of refraction, um, I have here 1.6 and for the front and for the back too. So in the texture map, I just use the same material with a filter. In the filter, I I bring down the saturation all the way, and, uh, and I added the brightness of it. And yeah, and I higher up the contrast, just so I have these variations in the reflections. So. The same thing in the in the back side. So in the bump, the same thing again. The same texture with a filter. With a filter, I played around with it, and and in the bump amount, I I give it 0.44 centimeters. Yeah. And here in the material weight. I just loaded an alpha channel. So I have now my front leaf, uh, front side and back side of the leaf with similar uh, settings. Now I created uh, a very double sided material and I loaded front map in the front side material and the back mat in the back side material so and and I, I just leave the translucency color at default in right in the middle so yeah that's it for the leaves you will notice uh, I have here the same settings for uh, also for the conifer tree leaves same settings you can see here you see the same settings here just 
different amount of glossiness and different amount of fernal IOR because uh, the conifer trees are less glossy and less ref reflective than the regular trees. Bump also and the weight. For the bark material, just um, just a texture map in the specular layer. I just uh, I, I gave it 1.3 in the fernal IOR and 0 0.6 in the reflection glossiness. Bump and yeah, that's it. I think yeah. It's really, really simple. So for the render settings, I just used um, for the anti listen uh, I leave I leave them as default. I leave I leave these settings as default, and uh, I use just a preset from. GI preset here. I used the uh, origins map with the light cache. I prefer to play around with the hemispheric subdivisions just to not have noisy uh, render. So I usually um, rise the hemispheric subdivisions to 130 and the interpolated samples to 64, just double it. In the light cache, I usually uh, rise subdivision to 800 maybe will work for this scene. These are not universal settings. It varies from, a scene, from scene to scene. Uh, for the color mapping, I I leave it just as default. I just uh, unpick the effect background and everything is default. I think that's all. So always remember to create physically accurate shaders uh, as far as possible and uh, always pay attention to the scales of the trees. Always make them in a realistic scale. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all for this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial, in the third part of this series of tutorials. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.